You know, they just they play with it, just a execution down the stretch. You know, made some hustle plays, of course, off my misses down the stretch. Um, you know, a few turnovers. And, uh, you know, we just kept battling, though. We had a good chance down the stretch. Um, good look at the rim down um, you know, in front of the three-point line. Rudy and uh, Joe got a great contest. You know, Joe Harris had a great chance to get offensive rebound. And, you know, we, we had a chance at the free throw line down the stretch to at least get one more play out of it. But things happen in the basketball world and uh, just got to live with it. Coach said that they're relying on you a lot. Um, you, in fact, on the altitude, too. Did you feel like energy-wise there was a, a lot to fight through in those closing minutes? It's part of being who I am. I mean, you know, that's that's what I work every day in the gym for. You know, all respect to Coach Kenny um, and my teammates. Um, but down the stretch, it's just about making plays, and I just got to be smarter. And, um, you know, I felt like I had some great looks at the three-point line where they were all the way back. And, you know, the whole night I just felt like I had some great looks at the three-point line, and I'm going to shoot it better. So, uh, you know, if I make them, it's a different story. But missing them, you know, it could be fatigue, could be anything. But for me, it's just keep shooting, man. Obviously, you've been a veteran in this league. You've seen a lot of stuff. Did they throw anything at you tonight defensively that surprised you on the for them being on the second night of a back-to-back? -back? No, not really. I mean, anything that's like different than I've seen from the Utah Jazz at Quinn Snyder, nothing different um, other than Joe trying to deny me, pick me up full court, just get me tired. Um, you know, that's the smart thing to do. So it forced me into Rudy. Uh, but we had DJ cleaning up a lot of the uh, missed opportunities, um, trying to lob it to him a few times. Did a great job protecting the rim. But like I said, when Rudy's all the way in the paint and I'm, you know, coming off pretty clean, getting off, or you know, I have it on the wing against Royce, you know, a few missed shots, opportunities just didn't go my way. So, you know, give credit to the defense, but also just gotta keep shooting. We talked about having you guys had your opportunities uh, down the stretch, so obviously the defense was much better than it was in the last game. But considering this team was coming off a of back-to-back, really a short back-to-back -back at that, I mean, how, I guess, galling was it or vexing, whatever word you might use, to have them make those big plays down the stretch instead of being able to wear them out? It's not really galling, man. It's just basketball at the end of the day. You know, some shots are going to go in, some shots aren't. Basketball is going to be flying all around the place. You know, Rudy made a great impact down the stretch. Um, you know, they just played tough, grit basketball down the stretch, and you got to give them credit. Were you surprised at all that uh, Spencer wasn't in the game most of the fourth quarter? That's all coach's decision, man. Um, you know, as professionals, we've got to respect what coach wants. How important is it in short memory when a team goes on runs and things may not be going your way? How important is it short memory? I mean, you got to. I mean, you know, it's like I said, basketball is, is a game in itself uh, where you just got to be able to weather the storm on the road or at home. But specifically on the road, you know, you just got to adjust to what the rush are calling for the night. Uh, do the best thing you can in terms of just having the next play mentality. Um, that's just showing the maturity that I feel like we're still developing into. Um, and just having a, a great uh, execution package down the stretch which I, I felt like I could have done a better job of calling different plays, um, you know, other than me and DJ in the middle of the floor, especially when it got under three minutes. So. I heard what you said about it comes with the territory that you're, you inhabit, but with no Karras, you guys are down to two point guards, so is it just manpower-wise going to put a huge load on you, do you think? <laughs> I'm used to that, man. I don't, you know, that's just the expectation that I put on myself as well as, uh, you know, the respect that I've garnered in this league, man. So hey, it's just no excuses. You know, just got to find out a way to get everyone else involved and still be aggressive. You know, obviously you would like to have two ball handlers out there, or three, the luxury of having that out there on the court. But, um, you know, the reality is that we just got to be ready for the next opportunity for the next man to come in and, and, and make some plays out there.